now we're going to talk about the inside of the dishwasher machine. We're going to talk about the guide rails and how to set that up. We're also going to talk about the strainer plates and the uh, strainers and also the plugs or the drain plugs. So lifting the machine up, we will now go inside and talk about the wash arms, the rinse arms and assembling it at the start of the day and the closing down procedure at the end of the day. Right, now that the fill has moved into a temperature display, notice here it's above 50 degrees Celsius, so 51. Again, I like to select a short cycle, so I just press number one, it'll do a wash, it will do a rinse, and then when the word end comes up on the screen, we open the lid of the machine, where you can then put a basket of pre-rinsed dishes in there, cutlery, etc. And every time you close the lid down, it's gonna repeat that cycle. So we're just gonna push number one with the lid down, and that will start a wash cycle. So what you see on the display presently is the wash temperature. So the wash temperature is 52 degrees. That means the water in the wash tank is at 52 degrees Celsius, which is ideal for your wash. So we're just gonna press number one. And that's gonna start a 60 second cycle. We just let that run through the cycle. It will then do a rinse following and the temperature of the rinse will then display. The little light above here, above the five, this is indicating that this is the wash tank temperature that's displayed. The one over this side here, when it goes on to rinse, that will then illuminate, and this is indicating the rinse temperature. The one in the center, the water tap with a cross on it, if that should illuminate, illuminate rather, it means you've got a water supply issue, whether there's someone turned off the water in the building, someone's turned off the water to the machine, that will then illuminate. Now notice the lights jumped over here, so this is indicating the rinse temperature. So we're rinsing at 87 degrees Celsius, which is very high. Um, Electrolux machines are programmed to wash at 52 degrees Celsius minimum and to rinse at 82 degrees Celsius minimum. Now that we see the word end scrolling across the screen, we then open up the machine, lifting the lid, and then we can load it with a basket of pre-rinsed dishes. Now it's important to pre-rinse them prior to going in so you're not putting a lot of food scraps into the machine itself. And then every time you close the lid down, so we're just going to step up here, I'm just going to close the lid down all the way and you notice it's going to repeat that same cycle again, simply by closing and opening the lid. If you want a longer cycle, you can just select number two or number three. So a minute, minute and a half, two minutes. However, if you pre rinse your dishes sufficiently, number one is quite long enough. Number two and three I would use for maybe pots and pans to give them a bit of an extra uh, wash in the machine itself. Once that has happened, we're going to open up the machine and I will then go through the close down procedure. So what you do at the end of the day, how to clean the machine, how you drain the machine and basically sterilize everything. So it's now going on to a rinse. You can see the rinse temperature display up here. So 81, 82 degrees Celsius. The light above here is indicating it's in the rinse, now it's end. So, let's imagine now we're at the end of the day, we've opened up the lid, we've drained, uh, sorry, dragged out the last tray of dishes to be washed. Now it's important now that before we close the lid down, what we must do then is with the lid open, we remove the guide rail that comes out of the machine. We then, with the wash arm and the rinse arm, put them in line. Once that is done, we can then lift the strainer tray out. We bring that to the sink and that's rinsed with a pre-rinsed hand shower. Once you've done that, we then cancel the wash cycle that we were using. Now in this instance, we were using uh, wash cycle number one. If it's number two or three, the procedure is exactly the same. What we do now before closing the lid, we press that wash cycle to cancel it. We now press the bottom left hand button here and by doing that, we are going to get the machine to automatically drain and self-clean. We'll talk about that one in a moment. This is the automatic descaling procedure. So if your machine is connected with your auto descale, instead of pressing the drain and you want to do a descale on the machine with the vinegar attached to the suction line, we would then press this button after first cancelling the wash cycle that we were using because this does exactly the same as that there with the addition of descaling, which I'll go into shortly. So by pressing this one here, we close the lid down. What the machine will then do, it drains all the water from the wash tank. It takes two or three minutes. You will then hear the machine purge 
four times and what it's doing it's taking water from the boiler pumping it through the rinsing circuit and that does it four times and that will actually rinse the inside of the machine sterilize the inside of the machine and that way we are totally draining the boiler as well as a wash tank that takes three or four minutes and at the end of that cycle you'll see the word end flashing across the screen at that point we will then press and hold the power button to turn the machine off we then lift up the lid and leave the machine overnight with the lid open if we're doing a descale exactly the same process happens but instead of pressing your drain for the machine itself we would then press the descale button here and it does exactly the same process as draining the machine and rinsing it but at the end of that instead of shutting the machine off we just walk away and leave the machine running because it will then draw vinegar into the boiler tank it fills up the boiler tank with vinegar and it sits in there for quite some period of time to dissolve any buildup of calcium and things in the elements the brackets holding the elements inside the boiler tank itself and then it will then use that vinegar and go through the rinsing circuit for a period of time and the vinegar from the boiler then ends up in the wash tank the machine will then take that vinegar from the wash tank and pump it through the wash circuit so you're cleaning the pipework in the rinse and the wash circuit and at the end of that process the vinegar is then drained out of the machine and the machine will automatically then go on standby now the descale process takes around two and a half hours so it's ideal to do that at the end of the day press the button lock the lid down and go home because when you come back the next morning the machine is ready to use so you lift up the machine's lid you put your strainer basket back in you put the guide rails back in and when you close the lid down the machine will automatically fill and be ready for the next day's use so we've selected the drain we're going to bring the lid down and close the machine and you'll see on the screen now we've got the word clean scrolling across so you know that we are in a cleaning cycle and you can hear the pump maybe draining the water from the wash tank it takes a couple of minutes to do that and then you will hear four occasions where you hear the rinse circuit pump running for a couple of seconds at a time and that is taking the water from the boiler pumping it through the rinse circuit rinsing out any soap residue that may be up in the hood of the machine or around the inside of the wash tank and once all the water from the boiler has drained out it then drains it from the wash tank the machine will finish and you'll see the word end scrolling across the screen once that happens you press and hold the power button to turn the power off we open up the lid and then we can go home and that's it